finished brick, you guys, and beautiful as always. Just like today, weather's pretty nice. A little, a little windy, but hopefully it's not too windy for you guys. And here we are, BMW, looking wavy as f. Same as the VF, usual. But um. Yeah, some, some new parts came in for the BMW, and this is what we have. Some indicators. I know they're already black, but these are standard, and I think these are sequential. So I might quickly change these over and see how they look. Before, not too bad, you know. Now we're going to hit it with this one. Looks basically the same, but trust me. And I think we paid, it was like 40 bucks for this. So, just turn this off real quick. Oh. <laughs> well, don't do that. <laughs> I don't know what. Fuck is Bluetooth or something? Fucking hell, what happened there? Oh well. If anyone wants to buy it, 100 bucks, no. <laughs> so, we've got the Bluetooth indicator and we've got the aftermarket. Oh no, same one. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> Ready? Bring us this plane up. This is a bit awkward, guys. This is what they don't show you on camera. The pins are not where they should be. So I've just pinned them down a little. And we should be Gucci. Ready? There he's in. So, sequential baby. See, not bad, eh? You know, it's always those small, small details that make it. And for like 30, 40 bucks for some sequential side indicators, not too shabby. Come around here. Oh fuck, these headlights need to go. You know what I realized? I didn't even know we had angel eyes. But I think they're blown, so might just change them, order some in, and then maybe we'll get some angel eyes going on this. We've owned this car for like fuck six, six, seven months already. And I did not know. So now these are all installed, looking wavy as if. Probably gonna head to Bunnings real quick. Um, I wanna get something for the VF. So yeah, we'll head to Bunnings and tag along and we'll see where the day takes us. Watching me, watching me. Yeah, watching me, watching you, watching me. You know the yeah. usual. That's on that Instagram, Bricky, isn't it? what a view. Oh, I am the view. Nah, that's us. We are the shit. Yeah. Chuck the sunnies on. Boy, oh, bang. So, quickly gotta go to Kmart first. Gotta get pick up some gift bags because it's Father's Day this weekend. Mm -hmm. So, shout out to all the single parents out there. Salute, but yeah, quickly go to Kmart and then we'll run it to um, Bunnings. We've just went down the wrong aisle. This one? one kilo or one and a half? Uh, that one. Yeah, so 
if you care, guys can kind of get the the vibe what we're going with. Yeah, this. But you already know we'll customize it and all of that and see how we go. So I've never actually installed one of these inside the car. I know you can buy the kits for this to suit your father's car online, but I'm going to try to do it my way. So we just got to try to find some steel sheets or something so we can bolt it to the car and then bolt that to that, if that makes sense. So yeah, we'll try to figure that shit out, eh? And then run it back home. What's well, goody, homies? Back on the vlogs, another day. And today is amazing, the weather. I couldn't vlog the previous days. I was probably like over a week. It was so windy in uh, Melbourne, Victoria. If you know, you know. It was like the winds were like hectic, like 130 k's an hour. And you can't really be vlogging, you know, it just doesn't make any sense. But being today, beautiful Saturday, why not, you know? Why not run it, run it back on the vlogs? And let's get to getting this installed. So I kind of want to mount it just over there on the side, I reckon. But I'm not just going to put it in like that, you know, I want to nest it up. So, us having the custom plates, I figured. I've done some previously for the homies and a few customers. I might leave the photo right here. And that's how it should come out. So, we'll get this painted up. I'm going to pre-mount it off camera. So, I don't know how it's going to work. But, I'm sure it'll be alright. This is my plan. Bolt this behind the... Um, behind the plastics and then mount this to that so if everything goes to plan it should be mounted and fire stinger should just sit pop in there so yeah i'll give you guys another update shortly with how the installing part goes because i know you can buy it online but you know just make do with what you got so we'll just see where it takes us, eh? I ended up getting the fire extinguisher mounted. And this is what I came up with. Instead of paying, um, I think it's like a hundred bucks online. I just went to Bunnings and got some brackets. I think I paid like 10, 15, if that. Bolted it to the fire extinguisher. And then made another bracket. Bent that up. Bent that up. And then it goes into the factory spot. So by the time we paint it up, paint that up black. Get this all, you know, paint it up as well. Put the trim on. I reckon that's not bad. It looks kind of funny right now, but trust me, once everything's put back on, painted and everything, I reckon it's going to look pretty on. So I'll paint that off camera. Um, get this fire extinction marked up and ready for paint. There we have it. There we go, fam. Pretty happy with that. So we'll let this dry and give it another coat. And then we can get into getting this fire extinguisher masked up. Pretty keen to see how it looks in the car, especially with the one hand today. So, um, yeah, let's get it done, baby. This, this is pretty good actually, gloss black, just to suit all the blackouts and all of that. So we'll let that dry, maybe like five, ten minutes, and we'll whack another coat on.
Last coat, and we should be good. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with the coverage on the fire extinguisher. So, now we'll let it dry. I'll print out the stickers off camera. And then, um, get to installing it. I know it's probably, like, it's probably pointless doing this, but, you know, like, I don't know. It's those small minor things that you go jump up in the whip. And, like, it's just chilling there, you know lazy little custom thing there we have it fire extinguisher done so now we're just gonna install it pretty dry yeah i'm happy with that so you see it now There we have it guys, fire extinguisher all done, not bad eh? So yeah, if anyone is interested in these, slide in the DMs, hit me up, doesn't have to be this plate, it can be anything, any colour, any colour lettering, any colour fire extinguisher, but I don't know, I kind of feel that the black works better so i'll leave it here notorious auto styling fbig swipe send me a message and um yeah hit me up if you're king ready to get this installed quickly done and stored shout out to bunnings for the lazy diy brackets a bit of paint it's a shame that you can't really see it there but hey you'll know what it is so jump in the car done got heaps of room move the seat back forward pretty good install i reckon fire extinguisher is all done Pretty happy with that little install to be honest yeah not bad for a couple dollars so next on the chopping board for the vf in this vlog is um i want to start doing the blackouts don't get me wrong i do love the chrome and all of that but it's always good for a change and the missus wants to black everything out and um, yeah i kind of agree so i've got some vents on the way actually gloss black but obviously my luck they haven't come on time which are these so what i might do is i got some dip laying around i might just dip them for now and whenever the vents come in i'll just swap them over off camera and i also want to wrap these white um see how it looks you know and then start blacking out the rest of the chrome so forth but um yeah i'll probably do one vent off camera you know the usual one side all of that saves the time and everything so yeah i'll see you guys soon yeah vent is all done looking pretty on 
I was thinking of turning these, but just because it's a fucking red line. I'll wait for the other ones to come, and then I'll tint those, and then I'll keep these ones how they are. Also, wrap the door handles in white. So we come from this side. White door handles, blacked out side vent. And you come to this side, chrome with the chrome door handles. Which side do you guys prefer? Do you prefer the chrome? Or do you prefer the blackouts? I don't know, I'm kind of on the fence, eh? But we could always black it out and, you know, if we don't end up liking it later on or want to go back to the chrome look, we can always, you know, peel off the wrap. But yeah, I'll quickly get this side smashed out and see how she looks. But first, before we get started on the other side, cheers everyone. You already know how it is, she's at the bottom. That's the fuck up. Beautiful. Now, let's run this side. Well, that's great. I thought the, the camera was recording, but obviously not. So I've got this out. Now, let's get to, we'll clean this up. Clean this, take the indicators out and let's get to spraying it up. Indicators out. Let's paint the, um, clean this up and let's get to spraying it. Get it all up in there as well. That's just straight dirt. So this is only for now. I've got some on the way. It's Saturday, so it should be here uh, Monday. But when they come in, I'll change them off camera. Change them over off camera. Just go light on it. Remember guys, this is only temporary. Just till the other ones come in and I'm kind of impatient. I want to see it already blacked out. But um, yeah, we'll quickly get this blacked out real quick. Go light, let it dry, and maybe hit it with another three or four coats. dry and then install it oh hold up wait a minute you gotta clean the area as you take things off you gotta clean it you know what i mean look at that that's disgusting clean as you go mate oh no, that's just something i gotta do like to have things clean you know I feel like it makes it just doing that little bit extra That goes in there. There we have it, fam. What do you guys prefer? Like that, or do we black this out or leave it? I don't know, I kind of like it, but then I don't. So now, that's all done. We're going to move on to doing this now. See how she looks, eh? So I got the wrap. Like that. 
burnt. I already cleaned this side. Just like that. Vent tool. Get all up in there. There we have it, guys. Quick uh, blackout. Doesn't look too bad, I reckon. Hard and fast. So, we've done the fire extinguisher. Um, done the side vents and the door handles so next on the chopping list is so obviously nothing's in here we've had these for over a year to be honest I don't know why we never installed it but here we are in this vlog um, it's something to do with the blackouts you know I reckon most, most VFs have it um, we just can have a guess. Something on the front end. Ready, tire. Yeah, ready. All right, come get a before. So it's the headlights, all right. So this is the before. Don't worry. I'm just. I was just wanting to see if it was working. I didn't actually test them, but here they are. So we got, um, yeah, angel eyes. It's actually my first time. I'm not trying to lie or anything. We were going to run it, but then I figured maybe we'll test it to see if it would work first. Um, as you can see, it does work. So what do you guys prefer? Do you prefer the white and that being white as well? For being on the car or do we... Pull it apart and black that out. Me personally, I kind of want to black it out. It's going to be a kind of a job because I've got to pull it all apart, clean all the glue and re-glue it. But what do you guys reckon? Do we leave it as is with the white or do we fully black it out? Here is a quick demo. Thank God it works, eh? <laughs> that would have been awkward. <laughs> See, like, that's how fucking long it's been in the house. Like, it's fucked. So, yeah. Oh. Shout out to this guy on Marketplace. I forgot who you were, but got it for a good deal. I don't know if it just fell, correct? <laughs> so yeah, what do you guys prefer? Do we leave it white and just install it how it is, obviously clean it all up, or do we pull it apart and black out the white? Me personally, I would prefer to pull it apart and black it out just because it's that murdered out look. Well, I want to see what you guys think, so drop it in the comments below and let me know your guys' thoughts. Oh, yeah, I might have to get some little cinematics, I reckon. Why not, eh?
two for part two. We are going to be running it back on getting the window trims all blacked out. We're going to be taking off the whole front end. If you've owned VFs, you'll know that it's a cut to take off these front bars or anything in general on this. But I mean, stay tuned for part two as we might install these or maybe part three. But you already know, have a blessed morning, blessed day. Don't forget to always stay fucking wavy, baby, and keep it nasty.